All right, guys, on this one today, we are gonna be checking out how to wire up the LED Blinky and your Saint Smart and your power supplies like I told you to get in the last video. So again, you don't need to know electricity. You don't have to be an electrician for this. It's pretty basic. Just remember you got positive and negative and ground. So basically what I did here is I have my 24 volt. You do need an outlet wire here. Again, excuse my wiring. I'm just doing this live just to help you guys out. This wire right here is a, a positive, negative, and a ground. This right here is going to a wall outlet. So basically on your left side here, you're gonna be sure you wire correctly, positive, negative, ground. Once you get that, basically you have power to your 24 volts. You can plug it into the wall, your 24 volts should work. Never be playing with this with power on. Obviously, be sure to turn off your power, unplug it, and play with the wires accordingly like that. Do not ever touch this while it's plugged in. Now, as far as what I did here, I basically daisy chained my power supplies. I took my audio wire, and basically right here, I took the positive, negative, and ground, and then I daisy chained it right on into the 12 volt, which is always on the left side. Then from here, I did another daisy chain into the 5 volt. This way, basically, it's one power plug that powers on all three of these. Very simple so far. Just do that. It's easy. You don't have to have three separate plugs. Very easy to do that. Now we get ready as far as wiring up our LED blinky and our Sane Smart. Let's first look at the LED Blinky first. The only thing I have connected, and again, this is from Major Frenchie, right here on your LED Blinky is a ground. It is only a ground. Nothing connected to the positive here, only the ground. This ground right here is wired into the negative on a five volt. So five volt negative literally went to the ground. As far as our Sane Smart board, on the bottom right here, there are two wires here. There is a ground and a 12 volt. This right here, we literally take our positive and negative, and it's going right into my 12 volt power supply, positive and negative. That is it. So again, recap, I'm gonna say it because I, I always repeat myself. 12 volt power supply has a black and a red wire, which is a positive and negative, going into the same smart bottom of this board right here. Five volt negative has one wire going to the ground input on the LED blinky. That is it. Last thing about the same smart board. Basically, we're utilizing the bottom of this board. This bottom right here has 16 ports, which is going into the LED blinky. On these 16 right here, there is one input for a five volt. You kind of see it's this purple wire here. And there is also one input here for a ground. These wires right here are going into five volt power supply, positive and negative. So again, five volt power supply, positive and negative, is going into the bottom rows here of your Sane Smart board. So these right here, basically, I did get a kit uh, from like Micro Center. I got a bunch of these little clippings. Um, basically, I cut them, spliced it, heat shrunk it, and this right here basically just goes right on into the pin that says ground. So as you can see on the end here, there's two spaces for ground. I'm literally gonna just put it right on in to this pin here, and that is all. So again, there's one ground pin. On the left side here, it's on the bottom left, is five volts, that is all. Going back now to the LED Blinky, highly recommended by Mr. Frenchie. You definitely wanna get these right here. These are fuses, inline fuses. Um, basically, 
the LED blinky, you kind of want to make sure and protect it. Do yourself a favor, get these Amazon. It's like a pack of 50. Just get them and you might have to get also the fuse with it. So basically what we have here on the LED blinky, there's 32 inputs on the LED blinky. This is where you're going to use your Dofflinks software, the Dofflinks config tool. My right side here is 16 ports. As you can see, all of them are filled because we have a 16 channel Sane Smart. So literally we have 16 fuse holders going into the bottom of the Sane Smart. There is 16 ports right here. That's just basically how the Sane Smart works and communicates with the software. So LED blinky, fuse inlines, Sane Smart board. Same thing, getting it from Micro Center or anything. If you even look up, basically, I believe it's called an Arduino kit, you will have a bunch of these wires with basically the end clips. So be sure to get up maybe a heat gun. As you can see, I heat gun these. It kept it nice and neat. You basically go port one, which as you can see right here on the LED blinky board, it goes one all the way down to 16. I basically did it where port one right here is going to port one right here. And you could see it here at the top. This goes by two, so two, four, six, eight. That means the bottom is port one. Always be sure to do that one to one, two to two, three to three. So again, we have 16 ports here and they're all linked to our same smart. Here now with the same smart, this is where some people will get confused. They see all this wiring, they get scared, don't get scared. What's also about the same smart is that it could take any voltage anywhere it wants. So if you think about it, on this particular unit, some of these switches are accepting 24 volts and the other parts are accepting 12 volts. Again, it sounds complicated, but it really is not. It's very easy. Basically what's happening here, I did on my board here, port one to port 10 is strictly solenoids. Strictly solenoids. So I did basically port one is flipper left, port two is flipper right, port three is um, slingshot left, port four is slingshot right. And then there's middle, left, center, right, back, left, center, right. So basically, literally from here, port one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I believe the number nine, let's see. Yes, number nine is here, number 10. These right here, the whole left side and these two here, are accepting 24 volts. Basically on the same smart board, as you can see, there are 16 separate little boxes here, little blocks. Um, basically each block has three terminals, top, middle, bottom. The top is basically our normally open. Our middle is the power it needs and the bottom we never use, that's basically normally closed. The middle is where you basically will put the power supply needed. Again, right here, this whole left side, I have mapped out for solenoids. What does that mean? All my middles are basically daisy chained to this wire cap here. This wire cap here is a 24 volt positive wire. So 24 volt red positive. I literally have one wire here. So it's one wire. And then I did basically all the middles. I took little wires, maybe about two inches and basically just wire capped it together. So it's a daisy chain. You could literally see center, center, all wires. See that blue? That is a center going in. So one 24 volt positive wire is here and then I just daisy chained into them just like that. You could literally see the other ones here. Right here is a 24 volt daisy chain. 
it is going right now to one, two, and a couple of these on the left. So you could literally see these are all linked. They're going in the center of the channel. That is where your power input in. Again, 24 volt positive, not negative, positive. Now, as far as here on this side here, I don't remember exactly what I have it mapped out to, but I believe I have beacons on this one. I got strobes on this one. Shaker motor, as you can see right now, is blank because I don't have one, but I do have the space for it. And then I did RGB flasher. As far as these ports right here, this is taking 12 volt positive, not 24. If you put 24 through this and light the strobes, you will have a fire on your hand. Again, 12 volts. I literally have 12 volt. There's one positive wire going right into here. I did basically three inch wires coming out and wire nutted together. So all these wires right here are 12 volt wires. You do want to kind of be sure to at least kind of color coat your stuff. Um, so like, for example, here, my black wire is really a positive in this case. Again, it's my cabinet. I know how I built it. You might want to be sure to color code it accordingly. This should really be a red wire for positive. But again, I did it like that. Again, 12 volts, 24 volts. That's what's great about the same smart board. Whatever you put in the middle port, is what the power is gonna take it out. So basically it's power in, and then on the top, the normally open or closed, it sends out the signal 24 volts out. So now this is the thing that some people got a little bit confused. I got confused too, but then all of a sudden it was common sense. On um, my build specifically, port number 11, channel 11, is going to the beacons. One channel. But Vic, you have two beacons. Yes, they are wired together. So two beacons, all you need is one port. Basically, once the software says beacons go off, it will send the signal out. Same thing goes for strobes. On my build, I have eight strobes. You do not need eight channels. You need one channel, and basically this one wire goes out to the eight strobes. So again, I was definitely getting confused with that but it was common sense after I figured it out. So again, one channel is now talking to two separate devices. Strobes, one channel is talking to literally eight separate strobe lights. So now you might be saying, hey Vic, how do I wire these things up? How does this work? Let's talk about the solenoids. Solenoids are pretty easy, in all honesty. For me, I went 24 volts negative goes to the negative on the solenoid. Once you get to one solenoid, you're gonna do a daisy chain. All the negatives, only the negatives. Negative to negative to negative to negative to negative to negative to negative, 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 negative. So only one wire is coming out of this power supply and then it is daisy chained. Just like an arcade kind of setup, the negatives are daisy chained. As far as the positives, you have to get it from here. So basically the top channel right here, this top pin right here, channel one, there's literally a wire, one wire going to this one here, which is my left flipper. Channel two is a separate wire. You cannot daisy chain these. It's going right here to the right flipper. Channel three is going again to the positive on my slingshot. Channel four is going to the positive on my slingshot. Negatives get daisy chained. So again, 24 volt negative only is coming out of this to the solenoids. Your positives come from the Sane Smart board. I have mine wired like that. Mr. J Nets did not have it wired like that. I tried it his way. It did not work for me. This works for me. Negative from power supply, daisy chains, all negatives. 
and then the positive inputs are coming from the sane smart. Definitely, yes, yes, you have to do this. Get this whole setup. I'm drawing a blank right now. You do need the, I'm, oh my God, I'm drawing a blank on this. Do yourself a favor. It takes about 30 minutes to get these down packed. Put these, everybody says you need them. Just do it. They are literally linked positive and negative. You definitely want to make sure that this is in the right order. Check Mr. J nets for that. So again, as you can see right here, this right here is a negative daisy chain right here. My negative is up here. So I have our thing that I'm drawing a blank on. I'm sorry. Negative from one solenoid going out to the next solenoid right here. Again, you can literally see my negatives are being daisy chained. You can literally see it. I'm sorry, I supposed to do blue. You can literally see my negatives are daisy chained. So right here, negative going right here. And then this right here is a red negative going to right here. Negatives are daisy chained. Next up, we got the strobes and the RGB flashers. How do we wire them? Same thing. Remember our strobes are 12 volts. We have a negative 12 volt wire coming from the power supply to the automotive strobe. And then it is daisy chained negative to negative to negative to negative to negative. It even goes up to here. Negative, 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 negative up here. Negative, 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 negative. So negative from the power supply, you daisy chain all the negatives. Now, Vic, how do I fire this strobe off? You're going to go to your channel. This right here is one wire for the strobes. Basically, there is a daisy chain on it. Positive wire going to the strobe. Then you splice out and go to the next strobe. So like for my table, I have a strobe in the middle left and I have a strobe in the middle right. That means I have a wire going from here positive to this positive. And then I have a positive wire from here going to my speaker. And then I have a positive wire going from there to my next speaker. That's how I have that. So one channel sends the positive out. You have to then daisy chain the positives to all your strobes. The same logic goes for our beacons. Beacons are 12 volts. We need to make sure the 12 volt negative are going to the lights. You could tap off your flasher or your strobe because it's 12 volts. So again, I, I literally have the negative going here. The positive now, channel 11. One positive wire literally goes across my cabinet up the back and boom, right here. I can even show it to you on the back. You can kind of see my little mess. This right here is all my negatives all wired together. And then basically I have the two beacon positives going to the positive wire coming from the same smart. Again, that's honestly the basics of it. That's how you wire it. So one output is then sent out to two separate beacons. The same logic goes for our RGB flashers. I did not do it like the real way it should be again, R G B. So positive wire on an R, literally I have an R right here on the left. That means I have one of these wires going up right there. And then I have also an R up top. I basically have a daisy chain from the positive up there. That's all it is. You just have to think of it like that. You need a positive and a negative. All my lights, automotive lights, the strobes, they're all 12 volts. So I was able to daisy chain all the negatives from the power supply negative, all daisy chained around. Again, that's probably the easiest way to do it. Daisy chaining is really great. It's very easy because again, I have lights everywhere possible. So I didn't have to run 
you know, 14 negative wires separately, you just daisy chain the negatives together. So it's pretty easy like that. The last things real quickly now, on the left side of the LED blinky are all of my button lights. This side right here, we have RGB LED strip. That means that there are three, literally three inputs, RGB. You literally need three inputs on the LED blinky to make the RGB work. Literally this, this pack right here is going to my LED strip that starts there. So RGB, notice that we do not have the positive from the power supply going here. You're literally gonna take positive 12 volts because my LED strip is 12 volts. I literally have a positive wire going to the LED strip. And then we have the three RGB going from the LED strip to our LED blinky. The rest here, I have one input for start, one input for coin, one input for exit, um, one input for launch ball, and the other input was for extra ball. So again, the LED blinky controls these. As far as how to wire up the LEDs on the buttons, same kind of concept. Negatives are daisy chained to five volts. So there's one five volt negative wire coming out of the power supply and then daisy chaining to each LED. The LEDs here. Same thing here, I have my launch ball um, button. Negatives are daisy chained. The positive, you're gonna literally have positive go from the LED blinky to the button you're doing. So for example, on mine here, port number 19, I'm sorry, port number 20, 17, 18, and 19 is RGB underglow. Port number 20, that's going to start. So positive to start. The negatives are daisy chained. Again, you're gonna be configuring all this inside of the Dofflings config tool that we'll look at later on in another video. You have to figure that out. You have to program your computer specifically like that. So in all honesty, that right there is how you wire everything. I don't think there's any easier way to do it. Just be sure, get your inline fuses. All this is gonna go into your SANE smart board just to be safe. You never wanna to touch positive and negative or you never wanna overload and stuff. Um, for example, if you accidentally put 24 volts into this, your LED whiz is gonna be dead. So just do yourself a favor and get that down packed and done. Again, in all honesty, that is exactly how you wire stuff. It's, it's, I understand it looks nauseating, it looks like a headache. If I did use um, you know, more contactor wires, it might be a little bit more clean. But in all honesty, that is all you need to get this stuff up and running.